Lastly, we will compare decimals a little bit. The basic idea is that we compare them place by place. So these two numbers both have the same amount of ones, a unit. They have the same amount of tenths also, two tenths. And then the same amount of hundredths, one in both cases. But here's the difference, it's in the thousandths place. This number has eight thousandths, this number has just one. So therefore this is more. Over here I can use the same idea. I can also use this idea, a little trick again. I will make this number have the same amount of decimal digits as this one that has more decimal digits. This one has four decimal digits. So let me write this so that it has four too. Just tag some zeros there. And now there are, this last place here is ten thousandths place. So this number is nine hundred ten thousandths. This number is nine ten thousandths. So which is more? Now it is very easy. Okay, this one has more ten thousandths than this one, so it is bigger. Let me write these as fractions too. This one is nine hundred ten thousandths. This one was just nine ten thousandths. And lastly, one more way, one more help for comparing decimals. If you have two decimals and they look kind of that you're not sure, you can write both of them into a place value chart, which I wrote here. We will place both numbers in there. Here's three points, so I'll start here. Three point, and then zero, one, three, four, five. And the other one is three point zero, one, three, four, four, five. And now you compare place by place. You start here, okay, same amount of ones, the same amount of tenths, and hundredths, and thousandths, and ten thousandths. And the difference comes here in the hundred thousandths place. This top number has more of those, so that one is bigger or more. Okay, now we're all done, and I hope this was helpful.